the good life. Full of fun. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another day cooking and tailing with Joe in the kitchen. You guys excited? I am very excited. I'm gonna bring you something simple, fun, easy. It says summer all over it. Uh, it can be used as an appetizer. Certainly something is a is a simple little dish. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make hummus. So we're in Casanova. We've got a, a supposedly a storm warning. We got something crazy happening. So hopefully our power doesn't go off. But we're gonna have something fun and simple, and I want to share with you. And it's definitely one of our favorite. Uh, Little little treats, if you will. We like to make like a little Mediterranean uh, platter, something that we commonly have when we go to Italy as a, like an antipasto. Uh, but the main ingredient here, the main uh, the main meal portion here, is going to be hummus. So hummus is uh, traditionally made from garbanzo beans, from chickpeas. So you're going to get some really good quality chickpeas in a can. You're going to get about two cups, just shy of two cups per can of chickpeas. Okay, so what I did here is I got three cups of chickpeas. Now you're gonna want four. You're gonna want four cups of chickpeas, and I'll explain why in a minute. But what we've got here is we've got three uh, three cans of chickpeas, so you got about, eh, about six cups, just about six cups, okay? And then we're gonna do one lemon. I don't know about you guys, I love lemon. It's so clean and crisp, and mm, it's awesome. So that's gonna add a really nice flavor uh, to it. And this is, uh, this is a recipe that's uh, traditional in Italy, okay? And then you're gonna use some tahini sauce. Now we're gonna use a cup of tahini. Now what is tahini? Tahini is essentially ground uh, sesame seeds. And, uh, and actually the word tahini is, uh, is Hebrew and it actually means to grind. Um, so what, you, what they do is they skin the, the sesame seeds and then they, they cook them and then they grind them. And then that basically is gonna give you like a tahini sauce. So traditionally, uh, this is really what hummus is. It's it's a combination between chickpeas and tahini sauce. So now we're gonna add the the Italy flavor uh, with the lemon, uh, which you'll see a lot in the Puglia region, and then we're gonna add some uh, garlic. So essentially, you got three good sized cloves, even though I have a couple little ones there, so I'm adding them. So I got three good cloves of garlic. We're gonna want salt. We're gonna want pepper. We're gonna want olive oil. Oh, I gotta do my shameless plug. If you guys are looking for high quality. Real extra virgin olive oil. There's a picture of the old Boreal family right there. There's a picture of the grove, the olive grove over there. We sell in half liter and liter containers. I mean, that is the real stuff. That fruit's picked from the tree. So you're gonna want a really good quality olive oil. So we're gonna obviously use Vito and Joe's, which is great. So you got salt and pepper, like I said, garlic, tahini, lemon, and, uh, and garbanzo beans. And so I'll show you how to put this together. It literally takes moments. And then I've got a beautiful food processor. So you can use a food processor, you can use a blender. I see some people use a Vitamix. They all work. You can mortar and, pest uh, mortar and pestle if you want to stand in for uh, a little bit longer than what's necessary. But we're gonna make life really easy. So essentially what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna have my camera person come right over in a minute. We're gonna go right over the uh, food processor. We're gonna mix this, pulse it, and I'm gonna show you a really nice way to make a Mediterranean platter. So at the end of this, we're gonna make a beautiful Mediterranean platter, and I'll show you exactly how we like to have it in our family, all right? So come on right over here. All right guys, so here we go. We've got this right here, I gotta tell you, this is my baby right here, this is my Breville. This is my beauty right here. So I've got a Breville, one of their, their large professional series uh, food processors, which is absolutely fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my six cups, or just shy of six cups, I'll show you how easy this is, all right? I'm gonna take my six cups of garbanzo beans, I'm gonna pop them right in there, all right? Now what I'm gonna do, and it doesn't really necessarily matter the order, you wanna cut your um, lemon, but I like to have the lemon a little bit warmer, okay? So I don't mean hot, but you're gonna want the lemon almost room temperature, and that's gonna make it a lot easier to get good juice out of it. And then what you wanna do is you wanna roll it, and while you're rolling it is it's gonna break up some of the juice inside the lemon. It's gonna make it easier to extract it, okay? So then I cut it in half, got my little juice extractor right here, so I'm gonna pop it right in there. So we're gonna use the juice of one lemon, and oh, I'll tell you, oh, that smells good. Lemoncello, that's what that reminds me of right there, a little lemoncello, that's what we should be having today. Lemoncello, what you do is you take pure grain alcohol, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of the juice of the lemon, and the rind, essentially the skin of the lemon, you soak it for about a month. And let me tell you something, whoo! That will definitely clear your sinuses, there's no doubt about that. But that's great, and then they chill it or almost freeze it. And that's really big in the Amalfi Coast and now in Puglia because lemons are so plentiful out there. I tell you, they're so beautiful. You look at those lemon trees or lime trees. We've got a, a group of them 
Uh, my favorite are the fig trees and the olive trees, obviously, but... Oh, okay, so there you go. So how easy is that, right? So I've got my lemon. Make sure you don't get seeds in there. Seeds are going to make it bitter. So if you don't have a press, uh, I'd recommend just do it over a strainer. If you do juice it and you don't have a strainer, uh, you know, juice it and then screen it, strain it before you put it in there. You're going to, not, not a good thing's going to happen. Now your garlic, I already skinned this, right? Real easy. Give it a pound. Skin will pop right off. Just cut it a little bit ahead of time. And it just, you just want it to blend well is what you're looking for. Now trust me, with a, a good food processor or a blender, you're not going to have any problem with it blending. But you don't want to obviously have a chunk of garlic. I personally would not mind that because I love garlic. But And that's, garlic's real traditional to most uh, hummus recipes. I will tell you though, if you're going to, the flavor, you have so many uh, uh, variations of hummus. So you can throw a roasted pepper in there. You can put like a... Uh, uh, olive paste in there, which is absolutely delicious. We made a uh, roasted uh, red pepper last week with roasted eggplant, so you could add maybe a couple of tablespoons of that right in there to give it some really good flavor. You could add nuts, you can add whatever you want. So there's no, there's no real mandatory way to make it. So make it a few times what you like, and then it, you know put a few variations in there if you like. But again, traditionally the, the hummus is tahini, which is that sesame seed and beautiful and the garbanzos beautiful so i'm going to pull that across right now it gets real easy right what do i got i'm going to put some salt so my salt i'm going to put now a lot of times canned um garbanzos are going to have a little bit of a higher salt cut to it so we don't add a ton okay so i'm going to add about three quarters of a teaspoon is what i got in there definitely a lot of pepper so we're going to add at least a half of a teaspoon if not more of pepper and I pop this right in there and then we're gonna add maybe about anywhere from a quarter to a third of a cup of good quality olive oil which is really really important okay so we're gonna pop that in there and there's our olive oil oh look at that okay and that's really as easy as this is like I said to go all out which we've done in our family many times you just take the, the raw garbanzos you got to cook them and, uh, and that's another way to do it. But today, like I said, we're gonna use cans. I just wanna make it real simple. Oh, look at that. A little piece of garlic. Trying to get away on us, didn't he? All right, so then, that's it. I like the, the Bravo because it's got the pulse slash time on it. So, so just to save time, I'm gonna do this here for a little bit and uh, you know, so we're not watching the whole thing. But it should take a few minutes. What I'll do is I'll grind it and then a few times what I'm going to do is take my spatula and I'm going to clean the sides up just to make sure everything's blending really well. Alright guys, you ready for magical Italian goodness? So, ho, 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 ho. so let me show you here. Look at that. See how beautiful and creamy and nutty and garlic and you open that up and it just smells like Italy to me. That is just absolutely delicious. So easy and simple. I mean that really took virtually no time. So now what I want to do is I want to show you a really simple way to plate it. It's a nice, like I said, appetizer or centerpiece, or let's say you don't really want a meal, but you just want to nibble on something between meals. This is a beautiful way to prep it. Hey guys, all right, so I told you I wanted to just show you a nice way to prep this, and it just makes such a beautiful little plate that you can do. So what I did was I took a remaining can or about two cups of chickpeas okay then I took some roasted red peppers I took some olives and some feta olive oil salt and pepper so nice and simple really easy just takes you a few minutes or moments okay and then when I went is I did some Mediterranean bread all right and I grilled it so olive oil salt on the bread and I toasted it and I like to I like those marks it just looks so beautiful and that's exactly how it's gonna come out of one of the ovens in Italy, you know, so it's just so delicious. So, so I've got that along the side, and then real simple, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up with some of our hummus. Look at that, look how perfect that is. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely perfect. I mean, that is, it's just perfect. You know, you can't, you can't get any better than that. So I'm gonna get about half of that in there, the other half, I will tell you that I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna eat it later, okay? So let me set that over to the side. And then real simple, a nice little way to prep this is you're going to take a spoon and you're going to you're going to essentially make a well in the hummus, okay? And by all, all means, you don't have to do it this way. You know, you can drizzle it with 
olive oil and what have you. And then, and then you fill the inside of your hummus with that beautiful mixture that you made. Oh, look at that. Does that look just absolutely delicious and fun and look at that, right? And then, oh, look at that. So now you got some vine leaves, some dolmas, which are essentially vine, you know, your grape wrap with rice, okay? So I bought those, I did not make those, okay? So you set that along the side, and look how beautiful that is, isn't that great? And my mouth is watering, I'm not gonna kid you. Look at that, isn't that just beautiful? So you've got this beautiful little plate that has just color and the smell of the Mediterranean Sea with the grapes and the and the chickpeas and the feta cheese and the roasted red peppers and the olives. I mean, that is just absolutely delicious. So like I said, you can throw that out as an appetizer. You can heat everything up if you wanted. You can set it up any way you want, but it's just one of those fun little preps that you can do for a party or a, we're gonna actually just have it. You can put a little extra cheese on the side with a little wine. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. So my favorite part is I gotta sample it with you guys. So hold on one second. All right guys, one of my favorite parts is tasting time. So let's taste this. So I'm gonna grab, my favorite isn't really the wraps, though I love the wraps. My favorite is the bread. Cause like I said, the bread's got that salt, it's got that dryness to it, it's got that crisp with that caramelized toast, right? So I'm gonna grab, and you see the little olive oil drizzling out of that? So I'm gonna grab that with a chickpea and an olive, a roasted pepper, a little feta, I'm gonna just hit it with a little bit more. Look at that, is that just, is that just fantastic? Look at that, you know you give somebody a little plate, a little napkin, so I'm gonna just eat it this way, not to crunch it. Hopefully the people that are eating this aren't like watching me right now, so. Do I have it all over my face? <laughs> that is good. Mm. This is by far one of my favorite little like I said, a little bite, little nibbles with wine. Oh my god. Mm. I'm gonna hit one more bite. I'll tell you what I can hit right now. The tahini with the garbanzo and then you get a little bit of that build up of the garlic right after. Oh my gosh, it's great. And then you get those roasted peppers. Mm. And the Mediterranean bread. Oh my god. Let me just set that aside for a minute. Oh my gosh. So good, so good, so simple. How long did it take us? Minutes, right? I'm so excited, I'm talking with my mouth full still. It's so nice to share a dish with you guys that I'm not like burning my mouth. I'm usually scolding my mouth after I eat something to show you guys. Mmm, <laughs> absolutely delicious. Something simple, something fun, easy. We're gonna share this with some friends with a little wine right now. And it's so great to set those traditions and certainly explore your heritage. I hope you guys take advantage of that. Certainly spend some time with your family. Thanks for spending some time with mine. Have a great week. Until next week, bon appetit. It's the good life.